Hey YouTubers, it's Tony, and today I'm doing a video that I've been wanting to do for some time. And this is going to give me an a, a chance to introduce a car that I don't think I've uh, really told anybody that I got. I got the another uh, Z06 because I have been putting the miles on my yellow one here, driving it and enjoying it immensely. Uh, I've done plenty of videos about this car as I got it put together, you know, the way that I've wanted it. And, and I've been putting the miles on it and I, it was killing me and because I didn't want to just rack up the miles. So then I found this one. It had 5,600 original miles on it. And this is a 2008 Z06. And of course it has the LS7. Now, as many of you may know, the LS7 has a reputation for valve drop. And, you know, you hear stuff and you, you on the internet all the time, and it's hard to know what's credible, what's not. So then you go and you talk to people who are authorities on it, and then you get, you know, some confirmation that, yeah, that could be a thing. The problem is you don't know if it's a thing with your car or not until you open it up. And actually look so on that yellow z06 that 09 <clears throat> i had it opened up had the motor built and the valves were fine the tolerances were no problem whatsoever and i was not in danger of dropping a valve an exhaust valve i believe in particular and um no problem but you wouldn't have known so it's good that you did it and uh life went on and then i bought this one and it had 5600 i think miles on it and I said, I've got to get it looked at because, you, again, if you drop a valve, that's ten or $12,000 out the window for the engine. And, of course, a, ca ca a catastrophic event. Uh, and you no longer have the original engine. All sorts of reasons. That's a very bad thing. So I took it in to my guy in um, Haw River, Carolina Auto Masters, Jeff, who's extremely uh, capable and knowledgeable and uh, in every sense. So... Um, he calls me a couple weeks later and he says, Tony, he said, your car would not have made it another thousand miles. He said, you were about to drop a valve. And so here is a picture of the exhaust valve for the LS7. Uh, and I just barely averted disaster. And it is this LS7 that um <clears throat> ran very well you couldn't tell it was sounded beautiful it ran beautiful but the tolerances were sloppy and it was about to drop a valve and this is the exhaust valve that drops once it drops it goes in your cylinder and wreaks absolute disaster and uh, it just puts a hole in the side of your block most likely oh i don't have the key but um, here is the car you can see inside. This thing is like sealed in King Tut's tomb. I don't take it out much at all. I just kind of enjoyed having it sitting here and uh, with that glare. But it's, it's just such a nice car to drive. It's bone stock. All it has is the upgraded, um, <clears throat> you know, heads. Uh, they pull the heads. They disassemble them, do a, a three-angle valve job, and I went with stainless steel exhaust valves. Yeah, they're not sodium-filled, hollowed out. Um, the sodium-filled valves are a little lighter, but the stainless steel valves are a little more uh, durable. So, uh, guys, there you go. That is the um, story with some of your LS7s. The valve drop is... A real thing. Don't let it happen to you. Thanks for watching my video.